you could have a busy Thursday. How do you prepare for that mentally to get ready to compete at what's going to be now the biggest meet of the year for you guys? Well, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that this could be my last meet of the year. So every race I have that in the back of my head that it's time to fish as hard as I can. Uh, even if I have another event, just give it all I have. Um, so mentally, I know that I'll be ready physically because we've been tapering this week. So really it's just how hard I'm willing to push myself for my last meet. So. You heard Coach talk about how you guys are going to have to now take it to another level. Just talk a little bit about, as a senior now, being through this in previous meets, how do you get to that where you need to be at your best? Well, I'm still a junior, actually. Okay. I'm still a junior. But uh, what I found is most important is at the beginning of the season to build some mileage. And when you have that base, the rest of the season you can do speed work and you can keep improving. So uh, really the first part of the season is breaking myself down so I can build myself up for the latter part of the season, and especially during this part of the season, I'm recovering and I'm becoming stronger and I'm preparing myself to race. Physically running all those in one night, how difficult is that though? It is very difficult, especially mentally. Uh, the last race is always the most difficult because when I get to that starting line, I'm tired and I just need to block that out. It's important to keep in mind that give this all I have because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm done for the night. Yeah. So it's more of a mental battle than anything. Do you kind of keep an eye on things as the, the meet progresses to see where you guys are going to have to score best? And of course, plenty of support going each way, whether it's the field events or the, the sprints or whatever. Do you guys kind of keep an eye on how things are going throughout the night just to see where you need to be? Mm -hmm. uh, I always watch the other events, uh, whether it's cheering on my teammates or just seeing how I need to place. Uh, it's also important to know where I am in the meet uh, so I know when I need to start warming up or cooling down. So I'm always watching the events, but uh, I do watch to see how other teams place, uh, maybe how strong they are in sprints or distance, and it just gives me a feel for other teams. Or how do you feel then? I mean, let's just get right down to you personally. Where do you feel your best at for Thursday? I feel like my best bet is in the mile. Uh, I've had the most competitive times in the mile, um, and I feel like if I'm lucky and I push myself as hard as I can be, uh, go, I might be able to place third or fourth. Uh, so I might be able to make it to regionals in the mile, which I'm hoping for. As a team, where do you get, where do you see, as Coach talked about, it's going to be tough. Connersville, as good as they are, and Rushville, and some of the things they're doing, where do you see you guys at? Um, I, I don't really know how we would place. Um, I don't know enough about the other teams. I know that Connersville and Rushville, as you said, are both very strong teams, uh, especially their distance teams are powerful. I know Connersville has a few outstanding runners, which will... Uh, give them some points almost automatically. Um, so bypassing that, we really will have to push in the, some key events to score those needed points. As of this interview, it's Monday, you have till Thursday, what do you do over the next couple of days to get yourself prepared? Well, uh, practice is relatively light. Um, I'm tapering. Uh, my last hard practice is uh, this Friday and then I've just put in some mileage, but I'm just tapering now so that I have plenty of energy. I've been drinking lots of water. Uh, Wednesday, of course, is going to be pasta that night. Uh, otherwise, I'm just trying to get myself sucked up for the meat, but not burn myself out.